And even Noam, Noam Chomsky said something about Sam Harris and Jordan Peterson that uh, free speech does not impro does not apply to hate speech. I'm like what? Like yes, it does. Yes, it does. That's crazy. That someone who's really smart can say it doesn't. Yeah. Okay. So it's available on YouTube. Yeah. Um, so he put some post saying that he was blocked from something. Doesn't matter. Hmm. The point is, one thing that's been shown is that they're trying to silence more. They're trying to stop the spread of conservative ideology and spread liberal ideology. Like they're actively trying to do that. I feel like there's a real worry that when you have a platform, whether it's YouTube or something like that, that you could get infected by like say shit posters. If shit posters just, they're more, they're more prolific, right? They're like, if you look, just look at the comments on YouTube, like in a lot of like really popular things, the comments are horrific, like way disproportionate to how they would be in the real world. Like the comments and the the anger that you find in a lot of YouTube videos, especially if you look at like the comments of podcasts. Holy shit, dude! People are opinionated, right? They got some crazy, wild fucking opinion. Now, if you were YouTube, you'd be like, "We have to figure out a way to stop people from saying faggot, or we have to figure out a way to stop people from doing this, or stop people from uh, from being homophobic. We have to figure out a way to stop people from supporting Trump. We have to figure out a way to stop people from talking about the wall. We have to figure out a way. To st and as soon as you start doing that kind of stuff, you run into a real slippery world. You're deciding what people should and shouldn't be able to say, even if it's legal. That gets real weird because then you don't have a free speech platform. You have a left-wing platform. Like your, your platform is now left wing. And I'm not saying you're wrong, but I'm saying it, it strengthens the position of the people that you oppose because they, they are being suppressed. Like you can see they're being suppressed, even if they're wrong. You put a guy in jail because his dog says, listen, pop, when he says, see, hi, like, boy, you, you just looked real fucking stupid to most people. And now the fight is on. And now it's going to be this swarm of controversy where people are freaking. I just found out about it yesterday. I just found out about it last night, I think. Might not even, it might have been this morning when I woke up. YouTube is reported. Oh, did you hear about this? Your kids, to, cause, what? This famous conspiracy theorist, uh, his videos have been coming up in the YouTube kids app, uh, teaching like flat earth type shit and oh, like we didn't go idea. to the planet or moon. moon. Good stuff. Yeah, what a good move. YouTube's getting in a lot of... Cra There's you know, no way they can... Ho oh, There's too much. Here's the thing about YouTube. Now, this is in defense of them because I talked to... Uh, I had dinner with some big wigs at YouTube and there was some of the stuff they said was very annoying and not re calling things hate speech that just weren't. Like um, talking about someone who got a community guideline strike because they put a, co put a conversation up in their playlist between uh, Sam Harris and um, Douglas uh, Murray two intellectuals and they, they, they said that it was because it was hate speech and I was like that is the fact they could just say that just drove me nuts but they're dealing with who knows how many videos every day I mean it's insane how could they how could they possibly even know the videos okay the total number of people use YouTube is what is that number billion. oh my god 300 1 hours, billion yeah. 300 million 300 hours of video uploaded to YouTube every minute. Almost 5 billion videos are watched on YouTube every single day. In an average month, 8 out of 10 18 to 49 year olds watch YouTube. One of the things this woman said to me that I, I agree with her on, I, I mean, I believe her, because this is not about, a, about opinion. It's about how, the way YouTube works. She said, right now we have very crude tools to find offensive speech, hate speech. They're very crude tools. Sometimes they miss the mark. And sometimes when you're dealing with like subtlety, like humor, like I could say, hey, you fuck. And, you know, people go, oh, he was angry. Like, obviously not. You, you hear the tone, you know, like someone's saying that they're saying it to friends and they're joking around. And they're being silly and everybody's laughing. But you, YouTube misses that. They don't they don't know what's humor and what's not. So are you saying that you can never make a joke about, you know, a guy's dick? Or you can never make a joke about a girl's vagina? Or you never make a joke about heterosexual sex? Can you no, no, you can do that. Okay. Can I make a joke about gay sex? No. No, you can't. Oh, I see, because I'm not gay. Okay. Can I make a joke about white people? Yes. Can you make a joke about black people? No. 
Okay. What are we doing here? What are we doing? You're deciding what people can and can't say, and then they're also demonetizing things. And we've had some demonetized ones that were just like, okay, there's got to be some sort of an algorithm going on here where there's a word we say, and that word triggers some sort of a response, and then they say that it's up for we, – we, we have it up for manual review sometimes. But like the, our Douglas Murray one where we talked about YouTube demonetizing videos, that one got demonetized. Jesus. So it's like, okay, are they doing that to fuck with us, or are they doing that because he, Douglas talked about um, radical fundamentalist Islam? Like, what is it? Uh, in their defense, it's just their platform. They should be able to do whatever they want. Should right? they though? Because what are they then? If it's who is they? Who is they? The people they hired? Like, doesn't that shift? Like the, the the assumption is that everybody who works in management, everybody who works behind the scenes, all shares a mindset. That's crazy. That doesn't even make any sense. That's not even a society. Like group think tanks like that. Like if if, if they all agree. And this was one of the things that James Damore pointed out about Google. It's like they don't leave any room whatsoever for conservatives. Like they absolutely discriminate against conservatives. I'm not conservative. But if I was and I worked at a company like Google, imagine how fucking on the outside you would feel. Like is it illegal to be conservative? Like isn't there a responsible ethical form of conservatism that's not racist, not homophobic, but but, but presumes that a conservative person in power would be more fiscally responsible, will have economic policies that they agree with, uh, interventionist policies they agree with. I don't, I, I don't think that that's outside the realm of possibility, that a reasonable person could be conservative. But if you work for any big tech company, that's not in the menu. You don't get to be that. Like, you don't get to promote that. You don't get to agree with that. It's weird. It's not good because it's not, it's not open speech. You're supposed to be able to talk shit through. I'm, I, I like to listen to someone who has a very strong opinion about something and see if it resonates with me. Now, if you stop, stop that, I'll stifle that. I was just going to say, demonetizing a video, though, isn't uh, censoring someone. It's right. encouraging censorship. <laughs> this is why, because you don't want to be demonetized. If you have a video and that video can make you $500 if it's, um, if it's up and it gets ads, or it can make you $0. But that's that's a $500 incentive for you to not talk about whatever the fuck got it demonetized. Right, but that's the, that then makes your argument of like what were you making the content for in the first place? Or you just no, making it, doesn't. it to no, make no, money? No, 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 no. It's it's a motivation for you to censor your speech. Whatever you're making it for in the first place, you presume that someone was just making it to make it. But there's an absolute monetary value if they put ads on it. So if they take away the monetary value and they do it specifically because you chose a certain subject. That is, in fact, a form of censorship. They're, what they're doing is encouraging you to self-censor in order to make more money. They can say, hey, you can do whatever the fuck you want, but we're going to decide that if you talk about fill in the blank, that subject, no money. So don't talk about that subject anymore. They're not going to give you money because they're sharing that money with you, though. If you could still share that video on your Twitter uh, channel. You could still share it on your blog. And still make money if you can find your own advertisers. It's just, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing, not. but it's not a good argument. The reason why it's not a good argument is because they made a concerted decision. They made a, a very clear decision to take away the ads on videos where they don't like what you're saying. That just could be because they don't have advertisers that are willing to pay them. That's all. That's the way I would look at it. The advertisers that didn't want willing to pay, to pay them pay because to, of like Douglas Murray and Sam Harris talking. They just couldn't. Maybe they couldn't find the money for it, and they're like, "Ah, hey, guess what? This we this not monetized." Okay, it's but you don't hidden. know this. This is know, a weird I'm, I'm suggestion. I'm making a guess. But you're doing this to try to reinforce your original opinion. No. I don't. I don't think it is censorship. It's a form of censorship. I, I don't. I think that demonetizing is not a good thing because of other ways, other reasons that it happens on on YouTube because they then have an incentive to share monetized videos because they're making money on them. I get that. But it's just because it's demonetized. What? I don't understand that. YouTube, who, if, who has it? No. YouTube has an incentive to share monetized videos because they're sharing in the profit of every single video. Right. A monetized video doesn't. Uh, a creator doesn't get a hundred percent of the money. They get half of the money. Right. YouTube gets the other half. So if a, if a video is monetized, they're sh they the benefit YouTube in sharing from it. it. Right, right, right. 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 So that even reinforces more the right, idea right. that that's they're censoring. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But like, if they're they're not. They're censoring the ability for it to share to be shared in the YouTube platform, not right. on the internet. That's true. As right. a whole. But they're not censoring. What they're doing is promoting self censorship by giving you a fiscal reward for following their line. 
again, that's just where I'm saying, like, as a creator, if you're making content to just make money on YouTube, then you have to play by the rules. Yeah. I that, mean, I, did, I understand what you're saying. But what my point about all this is, is what they're doing is like they're 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 making their own they're making these decisions and who is making these decisions that 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 also could be definitely said they should say these are the rules right i'm the person responsible right. for making that statement what are the rules here's and the they thing don't say they don't say, yeah, they don't say that this is what's weird about it it's totally arbitrary there's no like written law that you have to follow there's no like oh you can't say cunt because if you say cunt you know playtex doesn't want right. to advertise right. in your fucking video anymore right no, it's not that. It's weird. Yeah, they don't tell you what the demonetized video is. Like when we get one, they don't say it's because you guys talked bad about YouTube. Or no, anything. they don't say <laughs> shit. It's it's fucking weird, man. Vimeo has never fucked with me in eight years. YouTube fucks with me every day. Right, but the thing about <laughs> Vimeo is the difference in the numbers is so radical. Like if we have a video that gets a million hits on YouTube, it'll get 20,000 on Vimeo. 